everyone. I am back today with the Saint Fanurios. This is another one of the Potamitis little books that we have in Sunday school. It was written and illustrated by Ekaterini Potamitis. Here's the back. This one is number 18 of the little books. Now you may or may not have heard of Saint Fanurios. Saint Fanurios is known to be the patron saint for lost things. Here's an icon of Saint Fanurios. You can see that he is holding a candle and he is considered a great martyr, martyr and newly revealed of the island of Rhodes. And he is commemorated on August 27th. That is his feast day. I'd like to read to you the book of Saint Fanurios and explain his life to you. And then we will read together his hymn, the hymn that we sing on the August 27th to commemorate and pray to him. You can do that too. Long ago, at the time when the island of Rhodes was occupied, some say by the Venetians, while others maintained by the Turks, the authorities of the island decided to rebuild the city walls. Workers were sent to gather stones from some old ruined buildings. And to their surprise, among the ruins, the workers discovered a beautiful small church. There, in the middle of there, was a multitude of icons and frescoes in the old church with unrecognizable faces of the saints. They were destroyed by time and enemies, and they couldn't even read the inscriptions or the writings around the icons. But one of the icons was completely unharmed, and it looked as it had just been painted a day or two before. The colors were bright and fresh, and the icon depicted a young Roman soldier. In one hand, he held a cross, on top of which stood a lit candle. The holy icon was framed all the way around by 12 scenes of the youth's martyrdom. Martyrdom means how the person became a saint. They were martyred. They were tortured as they were asked to not to say that they weren't Christians. Can you imagine that? Somebody torturing you and saying, say you're not a Christian, and they refused. That's why they're called martyrs. They die claiming and proclaiming their faith in our Lord. All right, let's get back to the story. Well, the workers who were doing this immediately called the Bishop of Rhodes, Bishop Milas. The bishop was very moved by the icon. He could clearly read the name of the saint, Saint Fanurios. However, no one had ever heard of such a saint before. So the bishop decided to inform the ecumenical patriarch in Constantinople about the matter. Well, the patriarch was puzzled as well. There was no known saint by the name of Fanurios in the Orthodox Church up until then. This saint and his martyrdom resembled the same, the same of St. George. And it was clear, however, that this was a different saint, especially because the name Fanurios was written on the icon. In the scenes of his martyrdom, those icons that were around his picture back in the beginning. See this icon? In the scenes of his martyrdom that told the story of his martyrdom, now we're going to talk about them. Saint Fanurios is seen standing in front of a ruler, being questioned, and then he's confirming his Christian faith. Then he is imprisoned, mercilessly beaten and tortured, and later he is pressured to sacrifice at a pagan temple, but his faith is strong, and he did not give in. He proclaimed his faith in our Lord. Well, the patriarch 
called a council, a synod of bishops, which, despite not knowing the facts about St. Phanidios's life, they decided to venerate him together with other Orthodox saints. A church was soon built on the site where the holy icon was found, and many miracles were ascribed to the newly revealed saint. St. Phanudios quickly became one of the most beloved saints in the Orthodox world. The name Phanudios comes from the Greek root that means phanir, which means to make visible or to reveal. Now, because of this, and because of the miraculous way his name and his icon were revealed, St. Phanudio soon became the patron saint of those who had lost something and wanted to find it. It's now a tradition that whenever a person has lost something or is ill, if he seeks St. Phanudios's intercessions, they pray to St. Phanudios. Then the lost thing will be found or the health will be regained. This has inspired the popular tradition of making a St. Phanudios cake. We also call it a Phanuropita. It's a way that we can thank the saint for helping us. Let us pray for the intercessions of St. Phanudios, the great martyr, that we may always be able to love and worship the true triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, more than anything that we lost or we found. We want to pray more to our Lord. And this is his Apolitikion, his hymn. On earth is brightly sung a heavenly chant. In heaven, the choir of angels joyfully celebrate an earthly festival. From on high, they hymn the praise of the contests. From below, the church proclaims thy heavenly glory, which thou didst acquire through the struggles and battles, O glorious Phanudios. Saint Phanudios, the great martyr and newly revealed of the island of Rhodes, is commemorated on August 27th. I hope that you too will pray to St. Phanudios if you have lost something or if you're ill. And remember, when you find that item, you can make a fanuropita. And they're easy. That recipe is easy to find on the internet. All you have to put in is St. Phanudios cake and lots of recipes will pop up. You can bring it to church to be blessed by our priest who will say a little prayer with you as you're holding your fanuropita. And then the tradition is that you share the fanuropita with all the people who are in church. You share that pizza. All right. Well, have a great day, everybody, and God bless you.